welcome everyone today we're going to be speaking about pathfinder and how you can grapple to the furthest possible distance using his tactical ability the grapple so the reason why i wanted to bring this video out today is because i've been seeing a few videos lately floating around youtube on pathfinder guides and some of them aren't mentioning the key part on how to gain as much speed and momentum as possible whilst in the grapple phase and i wanted to bring you guys this video to talk about this key part on how to get as much momentum to achieve some incredible distances now if you guys do go ahead and enjoy today's video be sure to scroll down drop a like to support the video further likes always help my videos out and consider subscribing if you're not subscribed to the channel so you don't miss out on any future videos like this one you're watching today now i'm sure most of you guys watching this video are aware of how to do a half decent grapple you swing to the direction you want to go and you can do a very good grapple like this example you see in the background but this exact example here if we go in the same position and try to go to the same target you guys can see i am getting much more momentum and that is because i have fully studied the 90 degree cutoff point on the grapple so when grappling if you move your look control so the right stick on console or your mouse on mouse and keyboard past 90 degrees of where the grapple is latched onto it will just take you off the grapple and disable it completely but this is the important part here because whilst you're grappling you want to try and get to as close as 90 degrees as possible as the closer you are to that 90 degree cutoff point the faster your momentum is going to be and when you do eventually latch off to that grapple you will go faster than if you were doing a standard basic grapple so i want to do a step-by-step -step guide from the moment you're pressing the grapple button to the moment you land on the floor on the other side and i want to make this as simple as possible for even you beginners out there that are watching this video whether you're a beginner or a semi-pro player i'm going to try and make this as easy as possible for everyone watching this video so the first thing you want to consider is the angle of your grapple you want to have a good understanding of where you want to land and the best in my opinion the best angle you can have is just over 180 degrees if your intentions are to go as far as possible you don't want the grapple to be too high or too low where it can stop your momentum this is a very good height you're seeing in the background and a lot of corners of buildings and houses will allow you to do this sort of height so the first thing you need to consider is the jump and also the movement now when you're grappling in this sort of direction and you'll want to swing towards the left you want to have your movement control so that's your left analog stick or your WASD keys on your keyboard pointed to around 11 o'clock if you're using the keyboard you want to be having the W and A key pressed down and this is going to help your movement swift towards that left direction but this isn't the crucial part the crucial part which many people aren't doing is your look controls now you want to practice trying to grapple at around 80 to 85 degrees just before that cutoff point as this is going to allow you to swing even further around to gain some crazy momentum and this is going to be the momentum that will make the difference now when you're practicing you're probably going to fall off 90 degrees and get cut off from the grapple whilst you're practicing but over time you'll have a good understanding of where the cutoff point is and how far you can actually go as soon as the grapple attaches onto the surface you should already be in a position of where you're looking past 80 degrees of the grapple and you should also have your left analog movement controls pointed at 11 o'clock and same for keyboard and mouse your mouse should already be in that 80 degree position and you should be having the w and a keyboard down ready for that momentum boost now the important part here is the second you lift up from the ground because you're swinging away from the grapple that's going to increase the degrees of your look to the grapple so you want to slowly move your look controls to the right to adjust the degree angle between you and the grapple so you don't get cut off by that 90 degree angle by this point you should have already gained a crazy amount of momentum and once you're halfway through your grapple animation and once you've joined in line with the grapple you then want to straighten up and aim towards the direction you want to land in the key part here is studying the 90 degree cutoff point and maintaining that 80 to 85 degree angle throughout the whole grapple until you need to straighten up and then latch off to the grapple that's what gains your momentum as much as possible and this is something i'm not seeing many people do of course you only want to use this technique if you are truly focused on gaining speed in some situations where you need to focus on accuracy and grappling onto buildings then this technique doesn't need to be used at all but this technique can be used even when you're grappling on the ground surface if you just create an 80 degree angle from the get-go you can grapple further 
and faster than if you were just going to jump and go straight over. One tip I would say here is jump just as soon as your grapple attaches onto the surface and you want to be jumping of course in the angle you want to create. As you can see from these examples if I'm just doing the standard grapple jump and then go straight forward in a completely straight direction I can only get so far but if I'm doing it whilst adding a slight degree angle then you can see I'm going further than if I was to just go straight over that's why this angle is a crucial part to build as much speed as possible and the closer you can get to 90 degrees as I said the more momentum you're going to get and the better results you're going to achieve and the last thing I'd like to mention is that it does take time to gain that momentum and speed during a grapple so if you're only grappling to very short distances and you're latching on to very close areas then this isn't going to work because it takes time to gain momentum and to gain that crucial speed I'm not going to go into a full guide on how to use Pathfinder because I've done that before on the channel but if I see a lot of you guys requesting it in the comment section then maybe I'll consider doing an updated version but other than that I'm going to wrap this video up here if you did enjoy today's video be sure to scroll down drop a like to support the video further and if you're currently not subscribed to the channel I recommend you guys subscribe so you don't miss out on any future key tips like this video you've seen today thank you all for watching enjoy the rest of your day and I'll catch all of you guys out in another brand new Apex Legends video.